Today on the breakfast, the National Year of Transport, uh, Air Transport Employees and Air Transport Services Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, as well as the Air Transport Services Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, have suspended their one day old strike. We'll look at the reasons behind this aviation workers' strike and the effect on the aviation sector in Nigeria. Also on the breakfast, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, says cost of premium motor spirit PMS could rise to 800 naira per liter if fuel subsidy is removed. And of course, uh, like always, we will be reviewing the biggest stories, making the headlines across the national dailies today. All these ahead on The Breakfast. Very good morning to you. We're back with The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. A beautiful Tuesday morning reaching live from our studios at Victor Allen Lagos. Apologies for bringing the program uh, behind schedule due circumstances beyond our control, but we're here, and of course, the show must go on. My name is Kofi Bartels. I am Messi Boko. It's good to have you join us uh, this morning. All right. Yes, indeed. Mercy. Uh, uh, yesterday was quite interesting. Um, you know, the flurry of activities, flurry of um, uh, uh, sirens, flurry of, flurry of convoys, crisscrossing, you know, parts of Lagos. Why? Because President Muhammad. Buhari uh, was in town. There's a first uh, story on a trending, top trending segment this morning. And indeed, um, the president was in town to commission seven projects, uh, which include the Lekki Deep Sea Port. The Lekki Deep Sea Port. He was also here to commission um, the Lagos Rice Mill. The Lagos Rice Mill. He was also here to commission the Blue Line of the Lagos Metro Rail which starts from my arena and uh, some other projects as well, something to do with MRS. Um, I need to get the details. But um, uh, let's listen to what His Excellency, uh, President Mahamadu Buhari, had to say when he commissioned the Lekki Deep Sea Port. Kofi. Well, hey, hey, interesting. You know, the Lekki um, uh, Deep Sea Port is, uh, is a project that is so close to the heart of the Lagos State Governor. I was just uh, look, having a look at the Twitter account of the Lagos State Governor, Bajili Sondo, who, you know, informed Lagosians that the president was arriving Lagos State. Uh, the, the governor of Lagos State, Sondo, Bajili Sondo, governor, uh, His Excellency, Governor Bajili Sondo, he said that, um, you know, uh, President Buhari was arriving in Lagos State for what he called a festival uh, of projects. You know, whilst they're, of course, in some states, you know, they call their governors Mr. Project and all that. In Lagos State, the governor said that uh, Mr. President was arriving in Lagos State for festival, what he calls a festival of projects. Indeed, it was a festival of projects. Mercy. I mean, look at the projects we're talking about here. The Lagos Rice Mill Imota, uh, which is said to be the biggest rice mill um, in Africa. That is amazing. In Africa. And this rice mill um, is a 2 by 16 metric ton per hour mill, standing on an area of 8.5 hectares of land, uh, with an annual paddy requirement of about 240,000 metric tons. It's said to produce 2.5 million bags of rice, 50 kg rice in particular. All right, let's be sure. Per annum. Um, and of course, we're hearing that we generate 
uh, about 250 direct and indirect jobs. I had to do my research to see it was actually about 254,000 direct jobs and about 1,500, no, 254,000 indirect jobs and about 1,500 direct jobs. Let's move on from that. Don't forget, Governor Babajide Sahul said it's a festival of projects. The second one, like we, or the first one, like we just uh, saw the video there, the Lekki Deep Sea Port. This is, this is, you know, the first deep sea port in Nigeria. I mean, I was surprised to hear that all the ports in Nigeria, of all the ports we know, even in Lagos State, none of them is deep sea. And this is the first deep sea port in, in, um, in Nigeria. Mercy, this is the largest single infrastructure investment by private sector in Nigeria, in the history of this country. Okay, the largest single investment by, pri by the private sector in the history of Nigeria. Infrastructure, in, in infrastructure. 1.5 billion US dollars. All right, and the governor of Lagos State also put out on his Twitter handle. He's tweeting like Donald Trump used to tweet, you know, to communicate with people. He says that the Lekki Deep Sea Port is a game changer, spanning over 600 meters with the capacity to take 16,000 standard containers. So that's amazing. Now, you know, some people are saying, no, why is, why is government, um, you know, um, uh, citing a port in, in another port in Lagos when there are other parts of the country that needs, need ports, you know. But it's instructive. It's very important for people to realize and to understand that the Lekki Deep Sea Port is not a government project. The government money is not here. Okay, there are two, two companies who are promoting this port. Um, the Lekki Deep Sea uh, uh, um, the Lekki Free Zones Limited is a uh, special purpose vehicle, right? SPV, that was made, recently made popular by uh, a voice note said to be Atiku's voice note, SPV. Uh -huh. It's a special purpose vehicle by Tola, Tolama, um, which is a private company uh, headquartered in, in Tolarama, Tolarama rather, which is a private company headquartered in Singapore, and then a Chinese company um, also as well. So those are the two companies behind this, not government. However, Mercy, I mean, I followed some conversations online and on there. The rice mill is a Lagos State government project. And people are saying, why would government spend such money to set up rice mills when we don't have pipe bone water in Lagos? They should have used the money to make sure that you can open your tap, okay, uh, at, you know, <laughs> where you live, and then you can get water, you know, into your cup and drink, you know. That then, um, why would the Lagos State government invest money in a rice mill? like this, when we don't have housing. Someone told said this road in Alimo show is not good. Why would the government use the money to do a rice mill? The rice mill is in uh, Ikorudu. And other people are saying from the conversation and monitor online that um, Lagos does not have rice farms. So why start a rice mill in Lagos State when the rice will be in Eboin? The rice is in Abakiliki. The rice is in Kebi. The rice is in Taraba. The rice is in uh, Sokoto. The rice is in Kwara. Why citing that is a waste, is a poor, poor economic uh, decision. So these are some of the conversations. I don't know what you think about this, but that's some of the things we've been talking about. You know, about. I mean, uh, uh, there's a lot, you know, that's been going on, just like you have rightly mentioned. Uh, there are a lot of concerns that Nigerians have raised uh, as to ownership. Uh, you have mentioned the China Harbor. You have mentioned uh, the, uh, what's it called again? Tolorama. To, yes, Tolorama. And uh, the Lagos State Government, they have uh, a share of uh, about 20%, if you look at shareholders of the Lekki mm -hmm. Deep Sea Port. Uh, China Harbor seem to have you know, the highest of uh, shareholding in the Lekki Deep Sea Port or Lekki Sea Port, which is 52.5%, uh, followed by Tola Tolarama, Tolarama uh, which is 22.5%, yeah. and Lagos State 20%. Then the federal government and the MPA, you know, owns about 5%. And some people say, however, you know, uh, it's a viable project because the loans, eventually the debt will be repaid because, I mean, this project, you find out that it's some sort of, you know, private ownership and what have you. Absolutely, been. absolutely. Uh, but um, not to also discard, you know, some of the conversations that Nigerians have raised as far. You have uh, other, uh, you know, deep sea ports in other parts of the country that are not functional. And then uh, you're having another sea port again. Uh, you have also made emphasis that all the ports that we have are port, sea ports, but they are not deep. So this is like a deep sea port. The, the, there's one in uh, Ibaka. And hmm. um, there's one that was called Ibaka Deep Sea Port, but now known as uh, Ibom Deep Sea Port. However, the project has not taken off. 
give some, so it's almost the same thing as you, you know if you also remember cross river state there's also a conversation about the deep sea calamity mercy Mexico. mercy but you mercy. i wonder how the government of cross river state will be let's not go there please <laughs> mercy. right yeah, please, please, no please. i know we're not going there but i'm just trying to mention so so it's i think that every for every time you have a project it's very commendable. I mean, it, it would mean a lot. For instance, uh, one of such benefits is that we're not going to be losing to, you know, the Cotonou port any longer. So, I mean, all of the economic activities and what have you that uh, Cotonou has been getting. Benin Republic uh, in particular. Yes, in Benin Republic in particular, I beg your pardon. <laughs> but a lot of people will get to call that. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be coming to, you know, mm -hmm. Lagos and Nigeria. So that should be a plus, right? Uh, as much as there are also other things, uh, people always expect that government policies should reflect the interests of the people. I mean, solve immediate problem and what have you. A lot of people would say for every time you have a project, this project, you have people's whose interest, I mean, who Persons who are going to be, you know, ben benefiting, and at the end of the day, it might not necessarily be, you know, to the um, benefit of the masses. But it, it's not in all cases, especially in this. I think that it will trickle down, you know, to the economy at large. It will contribute to the revenue uh, base of Lagos State, and of course, it would also help at the time where we're grappling with uh, finances and what have you. Yeah, but um, you, you know, Mercy, some some people are they, they they want all these things we are saying. Of course, they don't want to hear it. They're not happy that um, the ports in the southeast, for instance, are not working. People are not happy that the Calabar port well, is working, but you know, it's, 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 it's the, capacity, uh, uh, the capacity. The uh, capacity that the, the port can take is not being utilized because of the dredging of the Calabar River. And we can talk about the port in River State on air, or the MPA port in, in Potago Township. And what about the one in the southeast? You know, the the Second Niger Bridge has sort of like. They say it's blocked, <laughs> you know, I don't know whether it's going to affect anything. But people want to see even spread. But like we've said, this is a private sector driven project. And the private sector individual, um, and I'm glad you, you gave us a breakdown of, of the shareholding. You can't tell a private sector man where to put his money. You understand? There's, it's a, it's a purpose this, this project was, 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 was created for, which is to support the growing oil and gas industry in this part of the country. You know, there has been discovery of oil, you know, so they want to support that. Um, but another question that has been asked, Messi, you stay on the Lekki Corridor. I won't say where, but it's a very expensive place because Messi is, a, is an expensive woman, if you ask him. <laughs> you stay on the Lekki Corridor. People are saying if they are going to do what they said they will do, which is to use uh, that place to offload, or no, they're not going to use the roads. They'll have a way of getting things through the waters to anybody who wants to export and then take it from the ships to other places to offload. But if they don't do that, and then they use the roads, okay? The Jebode axis, eh? Sorry, I'm stretching. The Jebode axis, through which you can get to that Lake Ekpe, the road is not good, from what I hear, what I gather. Then look at mainland, third mainland bridge, uh, through uh, Ikoyi, Victoria land to Lekki. Is it this road they want to use to you know, to get trucks to... So, so, so I mean... So, so imagine that's one way in, one way out, Lekki Corridor, Messi. We are coming to work. You know what you go through. Hmm? One way in, one way out. Now, add all those trucks and containers that are blocking up Papa. <laughs> so, um, I, I really don't know why I find, you know, I seem to be... <laughs> you know, we have to use a chopper seem, to, to lift you from the house. I, I, I don't mind, to work. You know, because chopper. it's a lot of stress. But you see... Uh, sometimes so, it's not because uh, one has to be very critical because most times when you make yeah. all of this observation, you want, I mean, it's almost like you're critical of every... But do you think that, think that road... No, that so, road so, 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 so my point Ozuma here is... Can, can carry the so, so my point here is this. If you live in Lagos, even if you just arrive in Lagos for the first time and you live around this part, you know that the, the major reason people are going through all of the, you know, stress, stress. I'll call it stress, you know, the traffic trying to navigate your way back from work or going to one point or the other. It's because of the road network, poor road network. And, and that's also a major concern. So, but one would have thought that, you know, the Lekki uh, project, the deep sea port, uh, is a well thought out project. I mean, it's not that it just the woke, we woke up in 2023 and it's here, yeah, something that would have been thought out. So I, I want to believe that uh, they also have a plan on how uh, they would navigate traffic and ensure that the lives, uh, you know, the ease of movement, yeah. people can move up, go about their businesses without uh, encountering. But I know that you've raised some yeah. valid points, yeah. the, the, the which, which I'm saying, which I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. 
that it should have been thought out before this time. Exactly. And we're just only crossing our fingers to see how, you exactly. know, they hope to um, navigate the path. But one would want to expect that the major challenge that you have, if you ask anybody, the issue of movement because of poor, poor road network. The road network on the island and that of the mainland are different entirely. So you don't have, and then you have a lot of houses. So it's a one way. I always imagine if you have a situation, let's say there's a volcano eruption, you know, or there's some sort of, I mean, just think about anything, uh, a serious natural disaster. Uh, what happens? Everybody that's coming from Maja is going to be, uh, we're go so there's going to be a stampede. People will lost their life. Let, let, me, let me add both a bit to that. No, I'm just saying, no, you no. see, sometimes we need to uh, imagine this. Yes. We need to think about no, it. Just it's not about because that. you're just, no, 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 we need to go God because I think it's very Yes, we, we, we need to. But the Lagos State government said they're going to turn the access way, you know, access road to that airport to a six lane highway. So maybe, I don't know maybe how many years it will take, but we hope that... that well, we need to go now uh, because we're out Absolutely. of time. Uh, so we'll, we'll just take a break and we'll join our guests who's on standby for Off the Press. Please stay with us. Good morning.